Oh my goodness, mm. you're a mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> we are making a strawberry pretzel delight today, right? Yes. And as Bill said, ew. I but know. He's so wrong. You don't get any. <laughs> You stand I agree. Watch. We'll get his, but uh, actually the sweet and saltiness of the pretzels and the strawberries, <laughs> they go very well together. <laughs> He's it trying does. to steal his already. Stay away. <laughs> now, but it, it does. does. It complements each oh, other. Oh, yeah. Sweet and salty. I just love to pretzels, chocolate, pretzels, strawberries. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, tell us what we need to get started, okay. Shannon. You need one and two-thirds cup pretzel crumbs, three-quarters cup of butter, three tab tablespoons of sugar, Eight ounces of cream cheese softened, eight ounces of whipped topping, one cup of sugar, six ounces of strawberry gelatin, 20 ounces of frozen strawberries, and two cups of boiling water. All right, we're getting our water heated mm -hmm. right now, and we'll take a break, and then when we come back, we're gonna make it and try it, and if Bill's lucky, we might give him a bite. Maybe. But <laughs> only if he begs some more, but we'll take a break and be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back. We are in the process, or about to start the process, yeah. of making the strawberry pretzel delight. Sweet yes. and salty, perfect treat for summer, huh? Oh yeah, this is in honor of my husband. His birthday was yesterday, oh, and he said, good, this is what I want. And I said, okay. So right. like Millionaire Pie is my birthday treat. Apparently uh -huh. strawberry pretzel is Did filled. you make it for him, or are you gonna take what we make home to him? Well, I have to take <laughs> that one home, but I did bring y'all one too. Oh, okay, so. good. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't need like three things of it at the house. But it's Although basically- he probably like that. Uh, he'll take it to work. That's like, <laughs> Do I have stuff to take to work today? I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we're going to start out with the crust. This is just okay. the crushed pretzels. Now, I do get the ones with salt. Other than that, okay. shape, size, doesn't matter. Just, I throw did mine in the- Did you buy the pretzels or were they already crushed when you bought them? I bought them and okay, then crushed them. Crush I did mine in the food processor. You can just mm -hmm. get a hammer if you don't have a food processor. All right. Throw it in a Ziploc bag and just whack at it. And this is one and a half sticks of butter, which equals out three quarters of a cup. Okay, you melted that. And melted. And then three <coughs> tablespoons of just plain white sugar. Mm -hmm. Mix in the sweet and mm -hmm. salty already. And then we're just gonna get it together. All you wanna do is make sure. I think I could just eat that. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh it's so good. That does look good. And then just make sure everything is moistened. That, okay. That's pretty much the only rule of thumb. And then we're gonna put it in a 13 by nine pan. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna mash this down. This is basically almost like an uncooked cheesecake unbaked. Okay. And then this is my little secret. All right. First thing you want, you want to kind of spread it out where it's a little even. Mm hmm And then I take an eight by eight pan and just wrap it in saran wrap where it won't get too dirty. And then just mash down. Oh, what a good idea. And this idea. will make it nice and firm. And you don't have to get your hands all yucky. And as soon as you're done, you can just unwrap the pan and stick it back in the cabinet. Oh my goodness, and that fits in there perfectly. Oh yeah. And then if you have some that creep up the sides, just kind of uh -huh. Push it back down and then just give it another mash. Wow, I've never thought of that. You know, a lot of times those pans come together, so surely oh, you yeah. have. Oh yeah, if you have one of these, you probably uh -huh. have one of these. Yeah. With it. And a loaf pan. And you can do this with lots of crust, not just this particular recipe. Oh yeah, any graham, graham cracker, cracker crust. This goes in the oven Genius, at three, Shannon. <laughs> 350 for eight minutes. Okay. And then when it comes out magically, our oh. oven has changed our pan. Mm. But it's going to be nice and firm. We have the, the quick oven the Quick here. oven. It's, a, it's the magic shell. So that's all we need to do. Okay, great. So crust is done. And now we're going to get do our quick little filling. Okay. And I get out. I'm actually using appliances today. So all righty. I'm not scared Sounds anymore. Sounds good. So this is eight ounces of cream you cheese. You know, Jenny softened. hasn't cooked with me since the pancake incident. If you'll know, we're only <laughs> boiling water with you today. <laughs> I'm ready to move on, I promise. <laughs> we're easing back into it after all oh, our disasters two weeks ago. Fine. But just eight ounces of cream cheese. Okay. And then just eight ounces of your favorite whipped topping. Okay. Or whatever and, on sale. Mm -hmm. That's real whip was on sale. How'd you know? <laughs> And this is just a cup of sugar. Okay. And we're gonna whip this up real quick. It won't take any time. And you let that cream cheese soften for an hour or so? However long. Okay. Yeah. So all we're gonna do is put, this is just a traditional unbaked cheesecake filling. Okay. Yeah, there's no eggs in it, so there's really no need to cook it at all. Right. All these ingredients are ready to eat. So that's good. And if you yeah. have a stand mixer, you could use that. Oh yeah. If you wanted to put a lot of elbow grease in it, you could do that. <laughs> that would be hard. <laughs> so Hand that's all we do. Work just great. Okay. It's super and you have the fast. whip. Uh, the whip. Yeah, I do on have the whip. Instead of the normal here. ones. Okay. Put that down there. That looks good by itself too. We it could is, eat all oh, of these separately. I could just eat this by itself. Yeah. So we're gonna spread this over our pan. Okay. Over our crust. Now I did let the crust cool. 
Bill's cleaning out our know, real lip <laughs> smack, snarf smack, for smack. you over there. Okay, yeah, you wanted to let the crust cool before you put yeah, it on there? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, okay. Probably about five to 10 minutes on okay. the counter. And then while it's cooling, you can just go ahead and make this. So this okay. is our second layer. All righty. And just get it a nice little spread. And then we'll make the top layer, which is so super easy. This really is an easy dessert. Uh -huh. And it's one something that apparently everybody's had, but not a lot of people make. Apparently okay. it's like the designated lady at church or picnics. Uh -huh. or There's that one person in every yeah, town it's like, that knows oh, how to make it. it. <laughs> so here's our two cups of water okay. boiling. And We're getting moved over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Okay. And just drop in. This is a large pack of Jello. I kept the box where you'd see it says fat free. Oh, I never wow. use things fat free. Okay. But we are today. It's, it's Can you really right. taste the difference in Jello between the fat free and the full fat Jello? It, it's all fat free. Oh, all the Jello is fat free. It's all fat free. <laughs> Who knew? <sighs> okay, well, good. Yeah. All you want to do is just stir it. Okay. Until it's all dissolved. Okay. And then this is two packet, 10 ounce packages of frozen strawberries. Now we do not thaw them. Okay. I just they're took still them frozen. Out. Yeah, they're still frozen. Just took them straight out of Watch the freezer. Watch out, they might okay. slosh a little bit. Well, at least if they dripped, it would match my suit. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even know. If you have stra fresh strawberries around, do you suggest using I knew you were going to ask me this, really? and I don't know the answer. <laughs> Well, since you didn't thaw these, it's probably best to keep to buy right them because with the Jello, cold mm -hmm. hot makes Jello happen. Right. Okay. And so this is all you got to do. We're going to pour this on top. Okay. And the twenty ounces, I use two of the box. Okay. And you can use those frozen strawberries year round instead of having to wait um, oh, yeah. for them to be in season for fresh strawberries. And I, they are sliced strawberries. Okay. And so you might kind of want to. Push them around just where everybody gets a good bite of strawberry. Mm -hmm. Like that. Let's see what we'll just take a little rag and clean up the side. We'll be nice and presentable. Yeah. And then we're just going to refrigerate it for about two hours. And that's it. That's it. All we had to cook was the crust. Mm -hmm. And then everything else you just eight mix minutes together total and do cooking it. time. That's wonderful. Yeah, super easy. How fun. And while you're cooking, well, I guess you, you could start making the Jello stuff and start making the cream cheese while it's in there, so oh, yeah. you're ready to assemble as soon as it gets out. Yeah, so you can have it done in probably 15 minutes total time. How simple. And Don't let for that summer. one lady that cooks it for everything know that yeah. you know now how easy <laughs> it is. <laughs> Still let pretend this is so good. It must oh. have taken you hours in the kitchen. It did. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to stick this in our uh, TV fridge, which is yeah. also super fast. Yes. And when we come back, we'll give it a try. But first, let's check in with Justin. My old English teacher would shoot me at this point. She heard this that. is so good. Mm. I love <clears throat> the pretzel crust. I'm pleasantly mm. surprised. Well, I'm so happy. Yeah. You know the really pretzel good. crust people? They're such a Debbie Downer. I don't think he's <laughs> ever had it. You've never, I have had, never had, had this before? No, I haven't. Huh. Mm -mm. It's a southern delight. This is mm -hmm. good. And I have some today too, so I'll eat too. Very good. Yeah, you know it's good when the cook brains are sell yeah. some, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know. Normally she won't eat what she cooks. Well, somebody <laughs> has to talk while you chew. Oh. That's okay. my job. Okay, go ahead. Good point. So, yeah, it's Phil's birthday. Yesterday was all about Phil and what he wanted to eat, so we had. And I guess Bill, today will be too. Phil, you... not Bill. Oh, I thought it was a yeah. Bill. Okay. So we had Bill. seafood delight and strawberry mm. pretzel dessert. Love all it. right. Well, good yeah. for him. Yeah. Everybody deserves what they want on yeah. their birthday. On the birthday, you're all about it. 21 mm -hmm. again, right? Always. Look, he's 32, and he told our two-year-old how old he was. And Jack said, oh, no, what's wrong with you? Are you <laughs> sick? I was like, <laughs> you're so old. I was like, are you that's sick? Awesome. I guess that's a high, the first time Jack's ever heard 32 as a number. I uh -huh. think we only count up to 20. So he's like, oh, are you sick? That's so cute. Yeah. I'm 32 in dog years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, now I'm doing math and multiplying mm. for seven. There you go. <laughs> you really are. Mm. If you want the recipe, email me at muwcooks at gmail.com. I'll send it back. Mm -hmm. I bet you'll get some, some requests for this. I think I so. I hope so. Good. I hope everybody that's not the lady that cooks it will yeah. email me. <laughs> the church lady. She's going to email you and be like, why'd you give away my that's secret? That's not <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. Mm -hmm. oh, well. Didn't do it right. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll have time for this segment, folks. Yeah. We'll take a break, come back with more in just a moment. You're watching WCBI News Sunrise. Thank mm -hmm. you.